Hey guys, it's day 12 of the 30 day at home challenge. So today we have 130 squats, 130 hip thrusts. So it's gonna be the third variation of breadth tubing for the abductors of the hips. So we're gonna do a wide stance today. So when we get to that point, I'll um, cue your feet turned out and focus on hips being open on the down and the up. Uh, for variation, you know, I've caught, coached you up until now on um, techniques for squats. So I'm gonna use a TRX strap for squats today. Um, so if you have one or something similar, feel free to use that and let's get to it. You have five sets of 26. So let's get going. I'm gonna do a TRX squat. So focusing on if you have this device, I like setting myself with my feet down on the ground. My feet are slightly turned out. It does allow for my butt to drive back and it helps me kind of keep a little bit more of an angle with my hips. So 26, I come up in a leaned back position. I drop my hips down, thrust it up. You're ready? Here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So sometimes I like doing this as a warm up with the TRX because it really just helps me take the weight off of my knee joints. I can let my hips fully extend back. I have the ground kind of as my guide on hitting the ground with my butt, knowing that I've pushed my butt all the way back to my full range of motion. So your third technique is focusing on a wide stance. So toes will be slightly turned out, okay? And you're gonna focus on the hips and knees wide as well. They're gonna stay that position on the down and the up. So there is no narrow on the down or narrow on the up. You just keep that time and attention for all 26. So find your position. You know where the base of your scapula is now, 26. Here we go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, and six. So as these reps start getting higher, I will probably, for the most part, be doing all of these body weight just to keep that pace going, not take too long of rest, but you take rest however long that you need. Here we go, round two. So I'll turn a little bit sideways here, you can see angles. Turn out, but back, toes up, here we go. One, two, three. So if you're using a TRX, you still wanna make sure back muscles are still fired. You're not allowing your upper back to round. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. This tends to mimic more 14, 15, like a leg press. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Sometimes I like that one too because uh, with that angle, I'm not locking up my knees as much. Sometimes I might want to when my glutes start getting tired. Round two, 26. Base of shoulders, toes turned out, hips abducted, hinge down and up one. So remember, feet, hips turn out, four, 
knees are the byproduct of your ankle and hip. So it's not the knees that are doing the pressing out, it's the hips. 10, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right. Round three. find TRX straps and knockoff versions on Amazon. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and one. I just happened to come across a gym that was closing and she was pretty much liquidating all of her equipment. So that's how I got a lot of my used stuff. Dumbbells, TRX, BOSU, all stuff. So take a look. Facebook Marketplace can be a great tool Maybe not so much right now with COVID because everything's out of stock. Whew, 26. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four. doing the TRX if you're doing that position too. Sometimes I float back and forth between my toes down and my toes up. It's just kind of what feels good for my feet. Sometimes my heels slip or my feet slip. So sometimes that's why I have a toe up grip. It's really just personal preference. At the end of the day, it's really about what the hips are doing. Find your angle. Here we go. One, two, three, four. I'm recording. Five, six. Go get a tissue. Seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, twenty, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Round four. So remember, when you set yourself up, key is keeping arms into a T, help your alignment, staying upper quarter, upper third is on that bench. Remember, bottom of the scapula, four, five. There's no movement from the sternum up. Six, seven, eight, 
Nine, you're always looking. Tops of knees. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right. One more set. Wow. The purpose of me showing you these options is so you have tools for the toolbox. Muscles love routine, but they also love confusion. That's how you get change. You ready? 26. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, oops, flipping, six, seven, Eight, nine, twenty, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Sometimes these TRX straps can also be a good way to kind of let gravity help you in stretching. So like stretch out your shoulders, your backs, your lats. That is for another day on me showing you that. I'm a big fan of suspension training. Either you like it or you don't. I think a lot of people maybe don't like it because it immediately tells you when you've lost your core connection. And a lot of people think they have a strong core, but sometimes they really don't. You ready? 26. One, two, three, home stretch, four, Five, hips, knees out, six, seven, plus eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And there you go. Five sets of 26 reps a piece. Easy breezy. Let's keep going. Nicely done.